So you want to go from a page like this, right? To to this, right? Like all the damn magic just happened. Okay, I'm going to put you on. Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can convert a mobile link from 1688.com or 1688 app to a desktop link. So, just like what I just showed you, unlike other e-commerce websites, 1688 product link from a mobile browser or the 1688 app does not automatically convert. It doesn't automatically convert to a desktop view when you open such links on your laptop or your PC. So. In essence, what I'm trying to say is that when you get a mobile link like this, so let's say you have a friend that sends you a link to a product like, okay, hello, sir, I need you to see this, right? So these are examples of mobile links, like from your mobile browser, internet browser, or whatever on your phone you get. When you go to one it is size, like product links, so this is one, this is two, and this is the third. Then if you have the one since it is up, on your phone you can also copy links from that so we have this product here from the half this product here from the half and this product here from the half so i'm going to open all six of them on my desktop so you see how it looks like yeah so let's go back now i'm going to click on the third this is actually very beautiful and so that is still for the price. So I'm going to this and the fifth, right? Like it's just it's super heavy. I'm not going to put you guys on, but I will need to explain a lot. But I promise to keep the video as short as possible. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So. This was what I was saying. So in essence, when you open a mobile link from 168 on your laptop, whether from your browser or from the 168 app, it will display the same way it does on your mobile phone, which is kind of annoying and different from when you search, when you search on your laptop and you click on the product, like on your laptop, on your, on your browser, on your laptop, and then the way it displays is different. From when a link from a mobile phone, either from the, like the person's browser or from the one that it app is sent to you, is very very much different. As you can see, as you can see, this is just the same way it displays on your phone. This is the same way it displays on your phone. This particular one didn't get to translate. Also, this have an extension so to translate it now for me. Can you see the whole display like you are using your phone or your laptop? <laughs> I don't know, I just I find it very annoying. So I did find a solution to it. So now let's say now this is one six eight that's come that I open, like I type in on my browser. I'm really going to do it all over again for you guys to see. <laughs> okay. So one six eight eight that I don't need to type in full it's like oh all of that it was visited site. <laughs> okay. My internet is a little bit annoying. <laughs> I mean, not really annoying, it's kind of slow. Okay, so I'm just going to. What product should I click on? Okay, I think I should click on this storage. I think what's my obsession with storage boxes? Look, I'm going to click on this. So I'll show you how it appears when you, like, go to it is on your laptop, search for something yourself. You get, and then you click on that product. The way it displays is very much different from when a friend sends like a link. From their phone to check out. So, can you see this is how it displays, which is very much different. Just, I have to use this extension, this option protection. It's actually meant to automatically translate, but I'm going to use this as translate the page. Okay, yes. So, can you see this? MOQ is pretty high, but this is how it's meant to display. You get 
normally when you search for something on your laptop you click on the product when you search for something once it, it is on your laptop let me see open once it is .com on your laptop on the on, your, on whatever on your whichever preferred browser you like on your laptop when you open it and you search for once it, it is and you click on any product or you search for a particular product this is how it is meant to display and not like this or this or this or this or this or this or this so let's get back to understand this better so now what i want you to do is to okay there's something called url i think what's the thing in your url like universal you know uniform resource locator <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> okay so this is all called url it's just like the link to the product how do you identify this particular how do you identify this particular product on the internet page like on a web browser you get so like when you go to um no what can i use for example okay when you go to like your your chrome browser or something any browser you like i just like www.pastag.com or photowick.com it takes you to photowick page right so this url takes you to this product page so once compare this url like why is that this url url sorry <laughs> i'm down faster is different from this because it, you have to compare it you have to look at it very well so um i'm coming i want to get my pointer okay i got my pointer was it i like that with the mouse cursor so now look at this look at this url i searched for a product almost as it is, and this was it like on my laptop it wasn't the link that my friend sent me or anything look at this url just look at this url very well and then look at this url can you spot anything at all well i said it i'm going to keep this short and simple <laughs> short and simple so i'm just going to tell you right away okay so when you look at this url here yeah. look at this we have the http s right then we have a a colon we have two backslash a double backslash whatever uh, we have detail right then we have once it is dot com we have offer we have like a number this is like i think this is like this um six one six whatever is like the product code then we have the html whereas for this we have let's look at together we have the same http here right we have him dot one six eight eight dot com dot one six eight eight dot com slash the offer and also so i know by saying that i think you should be able to put it together and like just say okay this is the difference right away but i'm just going to explain so now we have him after the http here okay so we have the http here right we have the colon then we have the double backslash we have the him those once it does come slash then the offer then this also identifies is like the product code is what this this number i think is I don't think I think I'm 98% sure is like the product code with e-commerce websites you there's always like a product a code that identifies a particular item okay even like like let's say you do inventory you actually like if you use code if you use numbers to do inventory that is instead of using names of products you actually use numbers it's something like that so it's like points to this particular product that particular product page uh, which is this lovely storage box so this https is do i have to explain that okay let me just explain that this https is the hypertext transfer protocol of secure the hex is for secure the hex is for secure and that's why we have this, like this padlock whatever html display web pages which is the hypertext markup language so it's what makes us see this page and i don't want to go to like the tech part and everything so now here we have after the double backslash we have him 
but in an ideal when you open a product when you click on the product ideally on your laptop ideally right you have detail after the backslash so that's that's that is just what you need that 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 wrong word replacing the hem with detail that's magic there's no other thing there like that's just everything you need so let's try it out okay so i'm going to edit this right i'm going to edit this right now and replace the hem with i'm going to take off with detail so i'm going to type detail it, do, it doesn't matter if you type it in upper case or lower case letter or you just have to type with detail right so let's wait as magic unfolds <laughs> i don't know i know i get really excited excited by this Okay, and you will see, yes, you have the desktop view or your PC. So, replacing the hem in your product link with detail is what transforms or helps in converting your mobile link to a desktop link. It gets for a one foot eight mobile link to a desktop link. It doesn't matter whether the, the desktop, the, um, the mobile link is from the, the person that shared it with your mobile browser or from the one foot eight app it will convert it for you so let me let me try for others for the other six so i just going to edit this and put in put in detail i'm actually going to type it in capsule so you see that it doesn't really affect it is detail and not details if you add hair you're going to have an error a big time flop so i'm going to do this for the other one i'm going to put details here so you can see that there will be an error if you decide to type in the wrong thing, it has to be detail and not details. Don't pluralize it. Don't pluralize it. So you can see. Oh wow, it actually worked. I actually thought it doesn't work. Okay. It's worked. Which is I've never tried using details because at the time I tried it, it gave me like a four four error and I was like, okay, okay. I've never tried. So you can actually use detail or details. Wow. So let's use detail. And let's go here and put in put details in small in lowercase letter. Then put this let's fix it and put detail. Okay, here you have it. Uh, my Google app uses extension. I don't know why page is not just translating automatically. Um, is this translate? Okay, here we have it. This is like the product. This is the price. This is about in Naira. In Nigerian Naira, is about 1,700 to 4,990 Naira. The exchange rate currently is 93 naira to so 1 RMB. This is Chinese yuan. I don't know. I know if you actually encounter this problem, you actually know what this site is all about. So, this is it. Like everything now displayed like the way it should have been displaying, right? It's, it's not giving you the mobile view on your laptop, which is pretty awesome. This is it. I, I use the tools here. Honestly, I'm still marveled at details because as of like, I don't know, like mm -hmm, about like a year or two years ago when I tried it, when I tried it, it gave me four, four error. <laughs> I'm not even copying. <laughs> so I just take care and be like, okay, okay, not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. If you can see, this is translating. Mm -hmm. She's sexy. <laughs> I think I played just too much. Let's go to that one. Translate. And yes, you can also, I mean, if you have like, I don't know, let's say you hate seeing like too many things getting clustered up together, you can actually take off a piece. You can actually get rid of information after the HTML. So let me just do that. So you can also see proof that it works. So I'm just going to highlight everything. And I'm going to click on backspace. So it stops up my HTML, right? So I'm going to click on enter. 
start repeating load okay it still displays the same page back for it so i've got to of this and yes you can switch back to the mobile view and you can switch back to the desktop view especially for us to play with let me just get it done so i'm going to replace the details backspace get rid of everything and place it with him and i'm going to go back to the mobile view can you see it's just like it displays on your phone this is super amazing i mean it's like a fun thing to play with <laughs> My internet is so slow. So that's it. That's basically everything. I think I haven't checked this right. So can you see this? Can you see this? It's that's all the magic. <laughs> that's all the magic I've just used to, to translate, to convert home. Um, a mobile like a mobile link to a desktop link from 168 because it will not automatically convert it won't so you can get it off and you the still be the same page i can also let me do it for this also so like i can get rid of all doubt i mean i think i'm like an importation text because i was surprised that people were catching this thing here as mine you can also get rid of this for this you know this was originally like selected from the desktop right it was when i opened 168 on my laptop that i selected this product but you can also adjust it it doesn't really it doesn't affect it let me just show you that so. Yeah, I'm back. Let me go to this. So I've turned this back to the mobile view. You can also do that for pretty much any other product. Too. Okay, let me just edit this. And so I'm going to delete the detail and replace it with him as I just stated. And here we have we have the mobile view. It's just like you're using like yeah, this thing I want to edit on your the way I want to edit this on your phone or your laptop. That's just it's so you can see, so you can go back from your mobile link to your desktop link and from your desktop link back to your mobile link and back and forth. The switch doesn't hurt, like it's so fun. You can see it. So that. A quick log a quick look on how you can convert your mobile link from 1680.com or 1680 hub to the desktop link on your laptop all you have to do is when you click on the mobile link sent to you from 1680.com or 1680 app once you open it on your browser on your laptop you just go to the url locate the hem after after the double backslash right you locate the m after the double backslash in your url this is the url this is the product link a web link a link that directs to something on the internet it's called the url do you understand uniform resource locator it helps you to locate something on the internet so that's the url is a link so you you edit the url the product url the product link you edit the hem you take it off you delete it and you replace it in the detail or details as you can see both worked whether it is an uppercase letter or a lowercase letter, it doesn't really affect it. All you just have to do is replace the hem, delete it, and type in detail or details in lowercase letter or an uppercase letter, whichever one you prefer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Bye!